What's good, y'all? It's G here, bringing you some Call of Duty gameplay where I drop an MOAB. And in here, I'm just gonna tell you basically how to get the easiest MOBA of your life. And you might be thinking, damn, I'm just not good enough to drop a MOB. I'm not a beast like Keep It G rated. But you know what? You are. Just look in the mirror, slap yourself, and say you have a penis because it's time to get a MOB. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do to get a mode is make sure you choose a good game mode. Don't go into sabotage and demolition and search thinking you're going to drop a mode. You need to stick with the basics. Play domination and kill confirm. Those are the two easiest game types. Hold two flags for domination so you know the general location of where the enemies will be spawning. And for kill confirm, it's pretty much the same way. Stick with your teammates, don't veer off. Look around for the dog tags, and if you get a kill, and then it says denied kill, you know that there's going to be an enemy nearby. So that's the first tip. Pick the right game modes. Alright, the second tip is play around the edges of the map. Don't go in the center. Most of the time if you go in the center, you can get trapped and just destroyed from different locations. When you play the sides and the edges of the map, you tend to not get screwed and shot in the back most of the time. So this is the area that you're going to want to play. And in this gameplay you can see how I'm working the edges of the map. I don't really go towards the center of the map unless like I see an enemy and I know that there's no one else around. The next thing that you're going to want to do is dear god play with friends. Because friends will help you out. If you've never dropped the mode before, you're going to want to play with your friends and you're going to want them to run support for you. I'm talking have them run recon. Have them run ballistic vests, UAVs, and counter UAVs. Whatever they can do to help you out. Because you're going to need all the help you can get. But don't, don't even worry about it. It's possible. And make sure your friends have a mic because communication is always key. I don't know how many times in here my friends were giving me call outs just like, Oh hey, gee there's a guy in the middle. Okay, I'll try and shoot him but you know, he gets away, whatever. And they have recon, you can see it on the mini map. So you know where they're at. See the guy just walking down low? I seen him on the recon. That gave me my specialist. It was an easy kill. And speaking of recon, this brings me to my next point. You need to use a good class setup. This is what I like to run for me. First off, recon is god. You don't know how useful it is until you have recon pro and you shoot a guy and he tries to ninja you around the corner but you know his every move. It helps out so much. Also, you're going to want to use silencers and two attachments if possible. And if you find yourself running out of ammo a lot, I recommend running overkill to start off with and scavenger. Because scavenger allows you to use or to spawn with more ammo off the start. You can see in my gameplay, I have a FAD suppressed and an AK-47 suppressed. They may not be the best guns in the world, but they were doing work for me. And I don't, I, I had to use overkill because I always spray a lot of ammo as you've probably been noticing. I just spray through walls if I see somebody like right here. Even if I don't get them, whatever, I still got ammo left over. It's no big deal. Also, you're going to want to run specialists. I know people like to use assault and support to get their mob, but if you've never dropped them before, you're going to need specialists. This thing helps out so much. When you get your specialist bonus, you end up getting all of the proficiencies for your gun. I'm talking kick, focus, whatever. That's why it's a good reason to start with two attachments because if you don't start with two attachments then when you get your specialist it's kind of like a waste and a missed opportunity. Alright, for my next point, do not, do not be greedy with your kills. Sometimes you're going to want to shoot somebody even if you don't have an open shot just because you want to get that kill. And almost nine times out of ten the person will get away, turn around, and like, why why fake you no scope you, and just, that'll be the most piss off thing ever. So just wait for the perfect opportunity, line up your shot, and don't rush it. Things will always work out in the end if you play it safe. And the best way to play it safe is to use head glitch and cover. See right here, I've been using this rock almost the entire time. I head glitch around it, and I use it as cover. Same thing with back here. I use everything as cover. That's like my main thing. Every time I move between locations, I look for cover. I never try to stand out in the open because you never know when there's a sniper standing there just hard scoping waiting for you to walk by. 
and I know you know what I'm talking about because just a second ago you saw I almost got hard scoped by a head glitching sniper from a corner. Luckily he missed his shot and didn't give me because if he did I would have been super pissed off. But I mean don't get discouraged. You can't always get a mob every game. There's always going to be one douchebag hiding in a corner. And as you can see I just got shot. One of my most recommended tips is just don't panic if you're being shot at. Sometimes if you panic, things just won't go your way. So as you see what I did, I just moved and got out of there. I just avoided the altercation with that person all the way. I didn't try to engage in a gunfight that I knew I would lose because my health was already down. I just played it safe and backed out. Well this gameplay is coming to a close right now. And just remember, my tips aren't necessarily going to give you a mob every time. It's just little guidelines to help you and hopefully it will increase your kill streak and make you a better player overall. But like I said, getting mobs are not easy. You need some skill. You gotta hopefully not play with douchebag campers. And of course, you need to have some luck involved. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace!